All right. So, Game Fighter has allowed me to use his account. Once again, Wallace, Game Fighter, thank you guys so much for trusting me with your accounts to do this. Because this is probably the only way that I'll ever get to try some of these tanks out. Wallace also still has several tanks that I'm going to be uh, trying out. Some of the tank destroyers that I have not reached yet that I'm still a long way off from. So these guys, oh, the T95, I might have to ask him if I can run that too. <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome tanks. But we're going to do a uh, look at the T34 tonight. This is a premium tank that I have not uh, ever played. Though I suppose the T30 is almost identical before you get the second gun. Um except for this is lower tier. However, this will see up to tier 10, but you do get those occasional tier 8 games, which is a, probably a godsend in this tank. Um, if it's anything like the T30, I probably will struggle with it. I really did struggle with the T30. But, okay, so let's look at the tank. Uh, this is not a review. Once again, I've never played this tank. I don't feel like I can tell you it, or give you a review without playing it. But, uh, you know, the big thing with this tank is that it's a hull-down tank. It's got that nice, strong turret. With an unfortunate unfortunate weak spot here with the commander's hatch. It's pretty hard to hit, though. Um, I've tried hitting him. Once in a while I get him, once in a while I miss. It seems about 50% of the time I can get through this thing. Uh, but if he keeps the hull down, he'll be nice and hidden, and he, you will not be hitting this guy. So, Because uh, the front of that turret's really strong. At, at 279, it's going to bounce pretty much everything out there. So... Um, I'm noticing that uh, he does not have any other modules aside from the gun laying drive. And since I am, it's not my account, <laughs> and it's not the test server, I am not going to put anything on there. So we're going to be running this with just the gun laying drive. Now, it's a slow reload. So, you know, I mean, that's it looks like he's got this tank fairly recently. You know, the crew looks pretty new. Actually, they're a C-34 crew, so. And it looks like he's saving up free XP because he does not have this checked. So, anyway, let's go ahead and let this guy roll and see how it is. I'm looking forward to driving this thing. It looks like it's going to be fun. Um, so off we go. If I sound a little bit stuffed up, it's because I am. <laughs> uh, it's time for another cold. I don't know where I got this one. Feels like it's going to pass pretty quick, though. I already feel better. I had it for maybe like 24 hours, and I'm starting to feel better already. Um, so first game, I love this paint scheme. This is what I have painted my, t my perma paint on my T29 is also the same scheme. I call it the pajama pants. And uh, it looks like an elephant in pajamas. Move out. I don't want to go this way. I like going the back route. I'm not a. As you guys know, I'm a pretty. Oh man, this thing is slow. Oh. Okay, there we go. Well, it is a heavy tank. T29. Come on, T29, you, dude. <laughs> uh, this is not good though. We can't all go this way. All right. Well. I'm going to switch directions, I guess, because we got too many tanks going that way. Wow. What's going on with the reload here? It's locked on red. Oh, hmm. Interesting. Those guys all went that way, so I figured, you know what? This KB-5's lonely. Maybe. Maybe he likes being alone. I don't know. <laughs> make the map bigger. Sorry, Tommy. If you notice your map is much bigger, it's because I made it bigger. <laughs> I'm used to seeing the map real big. My eyesight's not super, so you know, I work on photos all day and I'm always staring at the screen, and so my eyesight tends to get a little blurry. Uh, I like to have... Isn't that weird? Why? It's... Hmm. He must have some mod on his computer that I don't have installed on mine. I hope I'm not screwing things up, or just he just decided to set it that way, so... All right, first kill of the night. Now, one of the good things about this tank that I'm already familiar with because I have it on my, uh, had it on my T28, had it on my T28 prototype, had it early on on the M103, even though I've got the second gun for the M103 now, is that this thing has this, uh, pretty nice gun and it's the same gun that's on all of those the the rate of fire you know varies a little bit the uh also the aim time and all that stuff but yeah right through the front of that guy and that's the nice thing now unfortunately i mean there is like a freaking 
Uh, KV2 length reload on this thing, man. Still reloading. Wow, it's a huge reload time. Yeah. I doinked it. Got hit by something small. Keep hull down. Keep it. Keep it down. Keep the hull down. I six got through on that guy. I hate to pull my hull up because. Yep. Oh, a a fifteen a. Okay, that's why. So he's only going to do a hundred damage at a time. I'm probably going to have to risk one more shot because you know this guy's going to get aggressive. He shouldn't have done that. Whoops. <laughs> Keeping it hull down, trying to get stay below the ridge line here. KV5 doesn't have to worry about it as much. I wish I could get a shot in on this guy, but he's going to pull out before I'm reloaded. Man. Well, that really hurts this tank, but I like it. I, you know, it's it's just a little slow on the reload. That AT-15 is causing headaches, though. Goodbye. Oh, and our IS-6 is swinging in. Kiss your booty goodbye there, Mr. Vets. I'm going to stay right behind this guy. The at is back here somewhere firing on us. There he is. 14 seconds. I'm reloaded. That red throwing me off, man. I don't know where to hit him. Maybe right there. Well, that'll do. I don't think I'm going to hit that commander's hatch from here. I'm going to try to get behind the KV-5 because... It's going to be a hard... That's a hard... That's a, that's a tall order to hit that dude. Artillery coming in. <laughs> KV-5's on his own, man. I can't help him much. I need to get closer to the AT-15A before I can do any damage. Okay, we might be in range now to hit that hatch. There we go. Yeah, and this is... Eh. <laughs> oh, yeah, not, you know what? I like it. I do. I got to tell you, on a tier 8 battle, I like this. I feel like I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm burninating the villages. Burninating all the people and smashing cottages. So, game one, already a success, and my phone is ringing. I will have to get that in a minute. That's probably my wife. I don't like the way that he has his reticle red. That throws me off because, to me, the red reticle means <laughs> that the tank is not loaded yet. <laughs> or that the, the gun hasn't reloaded yet. So, But that's all right. Everybody has different things that they like. and I did like, the, you know, the JB mod was pretty cool, but the fact that I had to update it every time I had a patch, I just it got old. I'm never going to make it to anything else. They're all going to die before I get there. Um... So yeah, initial battle took a little bit of damage, but uh, dished out way more than I took for sure. Well, let's see how much money we make. I know these shells are expensive, just like the IS-6 shells. Eh, good game. All right, held it together. Went a route that I don't normally go, but was able to find a hold down position. Somebody called for my computer services. They have a USB key that's not working, and I am should be able to get the data off because it's still showing that the drive has it. There's no files on there, but it's showing that part of the drive is taken up. So I have a program that I purchased from SanDisk years ago to save my butt on a card that I erased by mistake. And uh, it works wonders. It actually a lot of times can find data. As long as it's not physically damaged, I'm able to pull data off of USB cards and stuff like that. So anyway, it's a good utility. So we are looking at the results of the battle. Now, I was not the top score by any means, uh, this M41 Bulldog, <laughs> with the high score, 3,000. But i got to tell you, this is awesome. Look at that take home. 72,000. Well, not take home. This is in 3,000 experience. You know what? For a first battle ever in this tank, I'm that's pretty dang good. You know? Oh, and I got, the, I got him the Canadian flag. <laughs> he could put that on his RAM. All right. And then over here, the take home, though, was 62,000 credits. I mean, that's way better than I thought it was going to be. Now, he is premium, so this would have been a 38,000 credit battle, non-premium. That's still really good. Uh, I did over 2,000 damage, blocked 150, 
and I got a spotting damage of 148. Go figure. But, uh, yeah, you know what? Not bad. So, eight shots fired, five penetrations, a couple bounces. You have that with this gun, and I am grossly familiar with this cannon because it's on all the tanks that I've driven so far in the American line. So, <laughs> it's not my favorite cannon, but it does work. It's For the T-28, it's sufficient. For the T-30, it's not enough. Um, I don't know. Boy, that is... This is cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's an HD model now, too. I, I haven't seen that. Wow, look at how good that looks. Okay, anyway. Let's go battle. I'm so bad at grinding tanks. I've learned that about myself. I get all excited, and then I want to, you know, try all these other tanks. And look, here again, we got a top-tier battle, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, I get distracted pretty easily, obviously. <laughs> uh, and so even tanks that I love... Like the uh, the good old uh, T44, I I could have ground through that. I mean, I've had that tank for a year almost. I'm so slow at grinding through tanks, and I'm uh, oh well. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I guess I don't know. I really don't like going into the city, but especially with this tank because the hull down is not where it's at for this thing, but if I get enough support... I just don't... I don't know the city here well enough to really do, like, stellar. What? Oh, M6 drowned himself. Loser. It's like, those are the kind of people that, well... They don't give us any fodder to shoot at. No, <laughs> no but really, uh, it just sucks. That's the kind of things that lose games. Why is nobody going into the city? I'm going to be all alone here, guys. I'm going to head this way because I don't really want this to happen. I'm, I'm going to try to stay by those mediums. What's coming my way? T29, okay, I'll take it. Let me try to get this guy in here and some side scraping and see what we see. Well, that's as far as I scrape there. But I didn't detect anything. Nothing. Gonna try to help out. Oh man. Not fast enough. Dang it. And who knows what we're going to run into here. Oh, I just right, drove right by that guy. Oh, boy. Enemy armor is damaged. And I'm we sitting right here with this, this STA. Down. Unfortunately, sorry. This is not going to go well. Yeah, and the, the rate of fire on this thing is so slow that... Come on, get it sucked in. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Oh! Uh, I'm all broke to pieces. There we go. Fix that. Yeah, he's going to get a hit in. There's just no way. The way that... Uh, 229. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why would this... Oh, come on. Man, this is bad. Enemy armor is hit. Enemy brood up. <laughs> Holy shit, Tiger. I'm in a really... Just a nasty spot here. Yeah, there's just no armor. So when you get into the city fights like this and you're hull down, or there's no hull down, and we were totally surrounded there too. I mean, we were just every side. I mean, look at all these tanks. There were, nobody went with us. We were completely outnumbered. And then, of course, all the donkeys that went up north still didn't do anything, even though we had all the tanks. So 
Not that they weren't getting pelted too, but wow, terrible team. And that was a wonderful match, making it work. How long has this battle been going on? Less than five minutes. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. So, not such a good game. I did get a fire for effect because I set that T50, T150 on fire. Oh, look, I was the second highest scorer on the team. <laughs> did the most damage. And detailed report, 43,000. Still not a bad take home. I mean, honestly, that's a decent take. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's good for... Doing, I mean, I, I felt like I really didn't do much. Couldn't really do much, but oh well, what are you going to do? When your team bum rushes a side like they do in that last battle where everybody goes one direction and you have to try to hold by yourself, you just, the hope is that you're giving them time to get done what they need to get done because really, I mean, what? I mean, there was like five tanks that we were going, the two of us were going against. What were all those other people doing? <laughs> we had, I don't want to say we, we didn't have all of their top tier tanks. We had a lot of Tigers, it seemed like. But there was a Tiger too. Their Jag Tigers were ripping them apart. So that, you know, didn't help. But So I think this tank is not a good city tank. It really, and that was, I knew, I knew that going into that battle. I, I told you guys when we first started, I was like, wow, I don't think this is going to really go over well in the city. And with absolutely zero support from the rest of the team, it didn't go well at all. Especially once we got outnumbered there, it was it was over pretty quickly. So um, that T29 and I, neither of those tanks are, are they sh they have no business being in the city. Great, got high tier already. Um, so anyway, these tanks were meant to be used. No. Oh, I can see that that's a definite weak spot on this tank, huh? That's the second time I've gotten my engine ruined. Yeah, I'm going to take some hits here. I need to get angled a little more. Get down. Get funky. No. This one's dro dropping bullets kind of low there. Now, he probably theoretically will reload before I do, and I don't want to get hit by that thing, so I'm going to get out of here. There's no reason to go head-to-head -head with that. But at least I'm keeping him busy. Ah, we got their artillery. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna do vocal warm-ups. Mini, 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 La 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 la. la. Hmm. 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 Oh, maybe. Oh yeah. Sixty-nine. Got him. He's gonna be. He's going to be looking for me to one reload. Dang it, the Type 69, he YOLO'd. I got himself into a real bad spot there. And I know the SU-152 is up here somewhere, 237. Wow, they're all rushing over this way. This sucks. Where is that dude? There he is. <laughs> He's better than that. There's the RH. No! <laughs> Dang it. And the lesson. Aim. Thank you for the big turret. I'm going to get hit hard. And oh well. What are you going to do, right? Back at you, buddy. Back at you. Oh, IS-8. Not good. And we're losing on this side, too, again. But I don't think we've lost the battle, necessarily, but... Oh! <laughs> yeah, he's just going to tear right through that. I wish I could have seen me, but I think he probably was able to get my... Oh, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Look at that. Uh, he probably was able to get my hull. Yeah, my hull was sticking out. You know, whatever. This is not a good position. Still, I'm liking it. I do like it. But I feel like the T30. I, I'm, uh, I'm feeling some T30ness on this. Uh, yeah, and of course we're losing again. What are? Well, we got a heavy. 
<laughs> Just in time to see that. Uh, our top tank is capping. This is interesting. I wonder if they'll win. Nope, there goes the cap. And we lose. It's over. Here's the thing I never understand. You're, you're not going to cap it with all these tanks here, so why would you just sit there and hope that you do? Get out of there. Though there's, re <laughs> well, there's really not where... There's nowhere he can go. Eh, bye. <sighs> not that he, he really couldn't have gone anywhere. Look at all these tanks. Jeez. So, lesson learned. Next time you do this, which way should my hull be pointing? Should be pointing to the left. I have my hull sticking out. He had a nice shot at the front of my tank. If I would have turned my wheels left, I would have had a chance of getting the tank tucked in so I wouldn't have gotten clobbered. But, you know, you live and learn. All right, so that was a terrible game on my part. 331 experience, 24,000. Man, I deserve that. Eh, kind of fell in right where I came in, but yeah, rough game. So I kind of feel like, I'm going to run one more battle in this, but I kind of feel like kind of what I was afraid of with it. Um, I don't do well in the T-30, and this tank gets a little bit easier matchmaking because it does see Tier 8 battles. And in those battles that I've been in, one of them went really well, and the other one didn't go so good. But I personally feel like with the awful reload time, now obviously we could get that down a little bit by adding a uh, gun a gun rammer in there we could and probably vents too we could probably get that down to maybe 12 seconds but still that is a long reload um and that's one of the complaints that i see about this tank online so i feel like i really like it but i don't think i necessarily would buy it because i i can't it's not mobile enough to be effective to be honest with you i the, I, the thing i like about the is6 is that it definitely has better mobility the gun fires faster Although the gun doesn't have nearly as much penetration as this gun does, you're able to put more rounds out there, which, you know, for what it's worth, I'm doing more damage in that tank per battle. I'm averaging about, I think my average in that tank is about 1,700 a battle. That's average. So I have games below, but I've also had a several games where I'm 2,000, 2,500, 3,000. And those are the kind of scores that are going to make the difference in a battle, if you're going to be able to do it. Now, even with the IS-6, I struggle a little bit. Um, it's not like the T-44 or the IS-8, or I'm sorry, the IS-6. No, <laughs> IS-3, <laughs> where I can use the, the mobility and the strength of the tank to change the tide of battle. That's why I have a 70 or a 60% win rate in my is three or 58 percent win rate in the is3 and i've got like a 55 or 56 percent rate in the t44 because it's fast enough to put me in positions where i can really make a difference in the game and, and also to get out of situations where i'm going to die like in this one i'm trying to back out but it's just so slow you know it's a good tank but i don't feel like it's a great tank and that's how premiums are supposed to be it's it's a it's balanced i would say but um a little frustrating at times to play. It just depends on the situation. It's it's like the Jag Tiger. It's going to be a very situational tank. So let's go ahead and run one more battle, see if I can't do better. Ugh, this map again. <laughs> Thank you, MM. Four battles in a row, two of them on the same map. Hmm. Okay, so, um, but better tiering this time. I'm going to go to the north. I, I honestly like the northern path better than going into the city. And once again... Even though I'm a heavy, yeah, the the thought is the heavy should go to the city. This tank does not like that flat ground city. Uh, now, if it was like some of the other maps out there, I think like Lakeville is one of them, that actually has some hills and stuff in the city, then you can use those to your advantage. But here it's completely flat, and that's just not a good a good place to put you know, this tank. So <laughs> I'm going to try it out and see if we can get some, some different results by hanging up in the hills here and... and using the terrain to better advantage, you know, and see if that, that helps me do better as a player in this tank. So let's go. What are you waiting for? I feel like, you know, once again, the mobility is somewhat of an issue. Um, you're going to run into the same thing in the Jag Tiger, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's like, oh... My goodness, you better go to the right spot the first time because if there's anything else going on, you may not make it there in time. But uh, 
I, I, I do like the tank. I, I am. It's a familiar play style. It, that it's that T29 type play style, and the T29, of course, is a rocking tank. So, oh, they both went this way. So I picked the right choice. It looks like. Now let's just see if I'm able to overcome what I'm going up against here. That T32 theoretically should be better than me. I want to get over here where I can haul down. There are two large artilleries. That's going to be kind of suckish. But what are you going to do? Oh, there are T-34s over here, too. So. Uh, T-34 creeping along. Oh. He's somewhere else. Not sure where he is, but... <coughs> oh, pardon me. All right, got the IS-6. I don't know where that T-34 went. There's the T-32. I think he's going to be the priority target first. Yeah, but the IS-6 is going to be in my range. Now, I like the the hull down of this tank is pretty nice. Look at the aim time, though. Oh, and I didn't wait. And that's, look at the result that I got. It was... Yeah, and of course there's the M44 was zeroed in on the spot. So, I'll probably get one more shot off and then I can got to get out of here. Well, yep, both the M44s were zeroed in over here. Get going. Or he was able to fire twice? What? Really? Can someone please take out that M44? Thank you. Yeah. And that's another thing that this tank is going to be. It's going to be extremely susceptible to artillery. And so I got to go back right where I don't want to go, but unfortunately that's just how it goes. Penetration. Yeah. That's kind of a 398. I guess that's not a low roll. The average damage is 400, so... This is sucky. <laughs> oh, God. That M44 is still aimed in right where I'm at, so this sucks. I got to be uber careful. Am I able to hit that dude? Nope. Oh. Yeah, I was just getting ready to run across to get out of here, so I wasn't in their rate of or their range of fire, and just too little, too late. So yeah, I'm <laughs> and once again, I'm, you know, the mobility makes it a factor because then I'm afraid to go across because I'm like, if I go across there, yeah. Gotta hate artillery, man. So I'm pretty, um, I don't know, disillusion. Disillusion is not the word I'm looking for. This is the exact same thing that would happen to me in the T30, though. I mean, it's, I, I can't, I, the, it's identical, except for the T30 actually fires faster. So, you know, now you make some money in this tank, but to me, this is a frustrating experience, you know, and it's like, <laughs> that mobility just kills you. You just can't get away, you know. And I, I, I had opportunity earlier, and I should have taken it. When, when they were busy, I should have taken it and gotten out of here. But these guys were just sitting there waiting to kill me. So, you know, not a whole lot you can do when the artillery decides to focus on you, especially in a slow-moving tank. If they're going to sit there and just wait for you, and they're going to be aimed all over the place, everywhere you go, you're getting hit. Uh, as you saw, they hit me every single time. I, there was not a single miss there. Now... You know, there's definitely been battles where they miss, you know, and then that's fun, and you watch the explosions go off around you, and you're like, ha ha, missed, but this tank's too slow for that. You're just, you're going to get caught. So if they decide to focus on you, you're done. And I didn't have a chance in that battle at all. Most likely, regardless of where I would have gone in that area, they would have been following me the whole time. And I've had that happen before. So that was the most miserable battle that I've had so far. Uh, 16,000... And so, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> if you've got an American crew and you're really looking forward to training, it, uh, uh, and th those battles, the ones that I'm struggling in, they're not Tier 10 battles. You know, we didn't even see that. We only saw Tier 8 and 9. This tank will see Tier 10. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, definitely there's some things that could be um, 
put on this tank to improve performance, like the uh, the the vertical stabilizer, the the vents, the gun rammer, all those things to make this tank work better. And that could make somewhat of a difference, but still, I just these slow mobility tanks. I think the the way that the game is set up now, uh, even after they've quote unquote nerfed the arty. Uh, they're just they're you're too you're too easy of a target, and you saw I, I got hit by artillery several times throughout tonight's playing, and just you know it it renders this tank useless. But you can't go into the city because <laughs> you have you can't protect your hull, and this tank is a hull down tank, so it's just got problems all over the place. But that is life in a premium tank. So you find one that works for you. For me, the IS six works. I think it works for anybody. Um, for me lately, the Super Pershing has been working great. I love the Super Pershing now. I'm, I'm making seventy to a hundred thousand dollars almost every battle with that tank when I'm premium. So, uh, you know, I'm not giving this tank a thumbs down, but I, you know, I definitely after playing it, and I thank you again, <laughs> Game Fighter, for allowing me a chance to get in here and try this tank out. I definitely would not buy this tank. I just, I'm not. It is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's like uh, a T30 with a slower rate of fire. So. <laughs> Uh, there's guys out there that love it. I tell you what, when I see them, once they fire, I go after them because I know they're not going to be able to shoot me again, and most likely I'll be able to do a lot of damage before they can fire again. And and you've seen me do that in games. So I, I'm the T30 to or T34 to me is an easy target, and I think a lot of people look at it that way now. So it's just it's <laughs> it's got a big boomstick, but so does the IS6. It's just the more penetration on this gun. Anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this this run through. Once again, not a review, but uh, I need way more games in this tank to get the hang of it. But we just you saw how terribly I did in it, and that's the same thing. I'm not saying that this tank is terrible. I'm saying that it doesn't match my play style at all. So anyway, have a great night, guys. We'll see you later.